Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see how to set up routing in React project. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start coding. Ok, here I have created a React project uh, by typing npx uh, create react application and just named it uh, routing in React. So uh, this is uh, just default structure as you can uh, as you can see and notice here. So first things, uh, what I like to do is just uh, rename this app.js to app.js6 and the same one for uh, index.js6. Okay, you don't have to do this, but just I like, I like it. Uh, okay, now uh, I'm gonna create a new folder here and call it uh, features. And into that for our features, I'm gonna create some components for our project. So the first component is gonna be uh, home, okay? And it's the home, uh, I'll create home, home the J6 and another one. Let's say contact, uh, contact and into that contact, I'm just gonna create a file, J6 and the new one about, about jx6 and the last one is going to be not found not found and to that one i'll create a file jx6 and that's it we have four components here so in the first one const about equals arrow function here and just return let's say h2 about us okay Export default about. Okay, that's it. Now we have our about component here ready. So contact, the same for contact, but I'll just rename it here. Contact. Now we have this contact also. Home. Oops. What's going on? Okay. Home. And we don't need us here. Home component and not found component. Okay. Not found. And we have it here. Okay, not found. And finally, we have our four components ready to be used. Okay. Now, here I'm going to create a core folder. core folder. Usually this core folder for me in my structures uh, means that uh, this uh, folder will uh, contain core uh, functionalities, core configurations for our project actually. So here I'll create a new folder and name it routes and into that routes I'll create a new file and call, call it routes.js this is going uh, to you uh, here we are going to store a constant file with our routes just names of our routes uh, another one is going to be uh, routes config js and here is going to uh, we're going to use some uh, configuration for react uh, for, for uh, uh, use uh, routes uh, a hook from a react router so this one here and the last one is going to be just a route renderer jsx okay this is just a component that will uh, render uh, our routes that we'll call here in our app.jsx file so before doing anything uh, we have to uh, install uh, two dependencies here so uh, the first one is react uh, router and the second one is react router dom as we are going to use both of them. So uh, npm e react router and also react router dom hit enter. So it's going to install both of them. And now in the package JSON, we have to check do we have them? Yes, we have them. And these two are new here. So react router, react router, uh, react router dom, sorry, and uh, 6.3.0. So that's it. Okay, now we have uh, we can close this package uh, package.json file here, and uh, right now uh, in our router 
here in our routes actually. Uh, I'm going to create a routes uh, constant here, actually an uh, object of routes. So const uh, app app routes and equals uh, let's say home and home is going to be sorry, here uh, just this route uh, also about about uh, contact contact uh, contact actually an I'll, this is not found I'll just call it uh, a noun as here I'm gonna just add asterisk uh, as this means that uh, every single route that is not uh, like this one here we we defined uh, is going to be uh, this unknown here so uh, after doing this I'm gonna just export this default and approach so here export the oh, sorry default app routes hit save and that's it okay after that i'm gonna uh, i'm going here to route config.js so here in this route config uh we have to add another constant that is actually array of uh objects so const routes config equals and here i'll just export it export default Routes config that's it okay and here uh, this routes config uh, we're going to use it in a, a react router dumps uh, use uh, routes hook so it requires array and array of objects and uh, these objects uh, they should have uh, keys like path and this is going to be our app routes app routes dot home here and uh, we have to add element this element is actually our component that we're gonna use here for this route so home that's it and this is it so uh, I'll just duplicate this a few times so actually four times to be precise home and now the one, uh, second one is gonna be uh, about and the component about okay contact component contact okay and this one is going to be a noun let's say a noun and component not found okay here so uh, there are some other options here just like uh, to redirect uh, any other to not found page or anything but uh, i prefer this one here so uh, another things here to mention uh, this ob these objects and actually specific object uh, for the use routes uh, hook uh, also receives uh, children key that is actually a array of uh, routes as well so we can just copy this here and paste it here and also uh, what I have to do is just to add another one uh, another route for this nested uh, nested routes so this is actually for uh, the purposes when you want to have a router inside uh, let's say about component for in this case here so I'm gonna show you this as well so uh, in this routes I'll add another one about home about home and call it like about slash home okay so slash slash home and this type okay this is it and here about home about home okay it is going to call the same component as here so uh, this is it when it comes to configuration here so I'm gonna format this document but it doesn't work uh, I prefer prettier for code formatting and if you don't use it, you should use it. In my opinion, it's really, really best uh, a code formatter. And to activate it, I'm gonna add uh, here a file, configuration file for prettier. So dot prettier, 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 C, okay. And I'm just gonna 
paste uh, my config from other files. So uh, you can stop um, the video and copy these things or actually uh, write these things in your config file. And uh, this is it. And now uh, here, when I just hit on Windows sh Shift, Alt and F, it's going to format uh, my code to look like this. So hit save and that's it. And now finally, I'll close other. Okay. I just close them. So here, this is just the basic component. Okay, route renderer, arrow function, and that's it. And I just forget false here and export default. Route renderer, and that's it. Okay, here. And this component here uh, is going to say the following. Okay. Const we need a uh, need actually a constant here called routes and here we'll use that uh, hook that I mentioned earlier use routes from React Router and uh, it expects a route object so location arguments uh, as I mentioned so I'm just going to call our routes conf here. So it should call this route config. What's going on? Route config, route config. Okay, route config. Let's not recognize it. It is. Okay. Routes, routes config, and we just have to export. Actually, return. Return routes. It's a bit funny because this component is just doing this here for now. But uh, we need this structure here to be able to call. Uh, our routes here so uh here in our app.jsx uh we need uh, a router here so but uh, it's not a router from react router it is actually browser uh browser router browser router from uh react router dom and i'll just call it like this I'm just going to remove this one as we don't need it. So uh, import as and here just uh, import browser router as router from React Router DOM. Okay, and now we have a router here. So this is it. And here in this router, we are just going to call our route renderer. Route renderer. I don't know for what reason this is not recognizing our components here. I'll just call it again route renderer. Now it works. Hmm, strange. Okay, just to change order here. Okay, hit save. That's it. And now we have to run our application, npm start, and we just have to wait for it to open. Okay, now we see our home component here, and that's it. But we have to test it somehow. So here in this router for testing purposes, I'm going to add some a link. So this is a link from uh, router React Router DOM as well, and this link is going to link to link to and just let's say here okay this one is for home okay i could use here as well uh routes from here to be uh, precise so let's say like this app routes that home okay and this is the same route and now three more times home about about and here contact okay three more three times i need just three times and just rename it about and contact okay so when i go back we need we just see these links these links here okay i'm not gonna st style it or anything we are just focusing on uh, uh, functionalities here and just click here about about fast works contact us and i'll try to make some 
issue here so contact a doesn't exist uh, here so it's not it's going to our not found page so contact and now the thing that I mentioned for about us uh, as you know uh, in that about us route here in the routes config uh, I just added uh, about home here as you can see about home so the thing is that in our about component we have to uh, add uh, outlet here so uh, features about about component about us here I'm just gonna add the following about and I'll just add just like this as I'm not gonna style it and this is just for the testing purposes uh, what I said uh, what I said, I have to add here uh, outlet. Okay, outlet. Outlet from React Router. Hit save. And now this router, this outlet has about and okay. And now if I go in this about to a link, link again, and uh, I'm just gonna add it uh, home. And we'll say, to a routes why is not gonna a routes okay about whom so this is, uh, this is our link and I'll call it here and we we are home we are about when we click home we need home uh, we see home component here and this could be anything here and you could add another uh, layer of uh, 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 routes here or anything like nested and this component here about us is gonna open these like routes like tabs or anything and contact us is gonna go here and back okay now uh, this is it when it comes to uh, routing in react uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you how to actually uh, protect these routes here and how to uh, add some private routes here uh, maybe just following the the same structure or the same project so i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new uh, if you had uh, have any questions uh, feel free to ask or, or comment uh, in the comment section uh, if you like the video please subscribe and also i'll put this uh, project uh, on github so you'll be able to download it and test it on your own machine so thank you very much for uh watching and Bye and see you in the next one.